Everybody, welcome back to Video Mess. So, here going to continue the series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Project, and I've got a special video that you guys voted for because a few videos ago I asked if you guys wanted to see a 2023 Mr. Year in review, and the response was overwhelmingly a yes. So, I'm going to go through my favorite things that came to Mr. FPGA in 2023. It's going to be a little bit of a long video, so buckle in and let's get started right off the top with Nintendo 64. It's insane that in six months it's gone from doing something like this, loading a test menu, to booting into GoldenEye and being fully playable. Following along with the progress of the Nintendo 64 core in 2023 has been one of the most fun things I've done in a long time on YouTube. It's amazing to think that just like five months ago, this is what Super Mario 64 looked like, and then we had some more core revisions, bringing better graphics to the mix, but for the longest time, No-Eyed Mario was just a meme to having a fully playable Super Mario 64 in widescreen running better than original hardware. This core has done so many amazing things in 2023, and it's basically at this point in time at the finish line. I can't wait to see what Robert does for bug fixes in 2024 and what other improvements he can do to the core but pretty much everyone and their uncle has been going wild over Nintendo 64 on Mr. FPJ this year. Nobody thought this was possible. It was widely considered to be the impossible core, so much so that it's become a meme. Robert promised one game playable by Christmas. This video is coming up before Christmas, obviously, and the entirety of the North American library can boot with a little bit of trickery. But no one even thought that this could be done on Mr. FPJ. Robert played around with the idea. He did the 2X PlayStation 1 core to see if he could get clock speeds up, and then he decided to give Nintendo 64 a try with absolutely no promises that it would ever work. We are now playing Nintendo 64 on Mr. FPGA in all its Vaseline glory, and it has been so much fun to do this. It's like rediscovering the console, and 2023 was a great year for Nintendo 64 fans. Now switching gears up completely and moving over to 2D, Wicker Waka's Irem M92 core is my personal favorite thing that happened on Mr. FPGA this year, just because I really, really love Ninja Baseball Batman. Irem made so many incredible games on this board, and pretty much every single one of them is absolutely expensive if you want an original PCB. And while this is not a knock at MAME whatsoever, the MAME implementation of some of these games definitely is still glitchy, so having an arcade perfect M92 core was nothing short of a breath of fresh air for this platform. And he definitely didn't stop there. Sure, you can play Ninja Baseball Batman, and there was never any slowdown on the PCB on real hardware. And if you move over to something like In the Hunt, the real hardware would absolutely chug and the frame rate would drop. He didn't just release an M92 core, he released a Turbo M92 core, bringing the gameplay up to speed on pretty much every M92 game that had slowdown, and that is just even better than original hardware. And that's why I love the Mr. FPGA so much. It's not just that core creators can recreate one-to-one -one in FPGA original arcade hardware or console hardware, it's that they can add in quality of life improvements and improvements improvements to the overall hardware design, giving you something like Irem M92 running at speeds that it never ran at before. Some of these games would 100% chug on their frame rates, so having that turbo core is just a treat on top of what we already got. But honestly, if you haven't played any of the Irem M92 games yet, check the core out. It is one of my absolute favorites on the system for 2023. And Wicker didn't just stop at that core, he also created the Mr. Laggy, which is a latency tester for your monitors to your mister. It's fun to see one of the core creators actually put a piece of hardware out because the hardware side always seems to be separate. Now, of course, it wouldn't be Mr. FPJ in 2023 if we didn't talk about the fact that the Simpsons from Konami is here on the Mr. itself, and that is one of the most requested games I think everyone was talking about. I would get so many comments saying, when is the Simpsons arcade game going to come to Mr.? And 2023 was the year. This is one of the most iconic beat-em-ups of all time, and Konami made an absolute metric crap ton of amazing beat-em-ups back in the 8 and 16-bit era, and having one of their most iconic playable on Mr. is great. These are definitely common boards, but they are not cheap boards whatsoever. Due to nostalgia, they 100% hold their value. So having the Simpsons core on Mr. is great. You can play the one player ROM or the four player ROM. There's different variants you can check out, but however you play it, it is so good. It isn't 100% finished as far as I can remember, as far as the release of the beta is concerned, but the fact that you can even play the Simpsons on Mr. 
in 2023. That was one of those games that everyone just wanted to see, and I have so much nostalgia for this game. Being able to play it in clean HD in my out, it's so nice. I do own an arcade board for this one, but honestly, when I want to play The Simpsons in the future, I'm just going to open up my drawer and grab my Mr. FPJ and play with an arcade stick. And that's what been a lot of the fun in 2023. It's not just stuff like Nintendo 64, a more modern console compared to the hardware that this ran on. It's getting a lot of those deep nostalgic games from Konami and other makers in the arcade sphere on the Mr. this year. I'm sure a ton of you have played this, and I'm sure a lot of you have had a lot of fun with it. But leave me a comment down below and tell me what your favorite arcade core of the year is. I would be really curious. Now moving over to the hardware side for a moment, Dual RAM was all the hot topic this summer into fall, but it seems like not a lot has utilized that yet. There is the Dual RAM Sega Saturn build, and the Atari Jaguar Work in Progress Core, which really hasn't gone too far, can and will utilize Dual RAM, but I did that Dual RAM giveaway and build recently, and I'm kind of curious to see what will come with Mr. FPJ and Dual RAM in 2024, because it does seem like we might be on the verge of requiring Dual RAM for some cores, at least at the recording of this video, but it will be interesting to see. It seems like everyone thought they needed dual RAM in the summer, and no one's really upgraded too much since. But speaking of dual RAM and Sega Saturn builds, obviously we got a metric crap ton of updates on the Sega Saturn Core as well, and it's been one of the biggest series I've run in 2023, just behind the Nintendo 64 Core update testing videos. But when Sega Saturn started 2023, it did work, but there weren't a ton of games that you could play from start to finish. Now in December, with the Core featured in Update All, it has gotten a lot more mature, and there's a lot of games that you can see the credits roll on, and you you wouldn't even know you weren't playing on real Sega Saturn hardware. And that's not just impressive from a hardware and technical standpoint. SRG320 is Ukrainian and he does live in Ukraine, so I'm sure the fact that he's even working on this shows his dedication to the project. But if you want to hop in and start playing Sega Saturn today, I can't recommend you do enough. A lot of people seem to be waiting until this core is 100% complete to play it, but you are missing out on a lot of fun to be had here. So many of the best games that ran on Sega Saturn back in the day run on Mr. FPJ today. You can 100% finish Castlevania Symphony of the Night, the version for the Sega Saturn, and that is a ton of fun, and you can also see the credits roll on Saturn Bomberman. Those are two reasons enough that you should be playing Sega Saturn on Mr. today. And I can't wait to start doing Doing some more testing in 2024 and hopefully we see a core update soon maybe in January of the year because there is still a lot of love for the Sega Saturn and there are still some things that do need to be fixed up no rush whatsoever I'm going to continue to cover the progress on the Sega Saturn core until it's complete and we can compare it to real hardware but Saturn and SRG 320 had a massive 2023 and we're going to keep the SRG 320 fun rolling with a prototype for the Battletoads arcade beat-em-up he just randomly out of the blue released this must have gotten a little tired of working Working on Sega Saturn, and while it is an alpha and it does have bugs, seeing Battletoads the arcade version running on Mr. FPJ, and no one really even known it was coming until he basically slyly dropped it one day, and we could all start enjoying some Battletoads in the arcade. I haven't seen anything on the update front, obviously SG320's main focus seems to be Sega Saturn, but again it was just so fun to get a game that I remember back in the day from arcades, and one that not many people actually talk about. Battletoads is a huge series, but it was way more popular in consoles than it was in arcades. And if you've never played this game before, be prepared for an absolute slog in a good way. It is hard. It wants to steal your quarters. You can tell that graphically there are still some glitches, but just seeing this randomly pop up is so much fun. And that's the great thing about Mr. in general. For every core maker that updates everyone every single time there's a new core, there's other core makers that just randomly show up one day on GitHub and drop an alpha, a beta, or completed core for a completely different project. You never know month to month, week to week, and day to day what you're going to get new on Mr. So something like Battletoads, even though it is not done and does have glitches, was just so fun to watch pop up. It is definitely one of my favorite beat-em-ups as far as arcades are concerned, and that's just because it's way more mature and adult-themed than the actual console releases were. So if you want to go test out an alpha for Battletoads today, it is a manual install, but it was one of those moments in 2023 that I was so excited about when it happened, and I still remember getting my first playthrough in. Now another awesome thing that happened in 2023 for Mr. is that the Neo Geo CD core was improved time and time again, giving us Neo Geo CDZ support as well as faster loading than real hardware would provide. And and while we have had the Neo Geo AES and MVS on Mr. FPJ for the absolute longest time, Neo Geo CD support had not yet 100% come in, and in 2023 is when it was really updated fully and became as good if not better than real hardware. Because I understand Neo Geo hardware is not cheap whatsoever, especially on the AES and 
NVS side, but a CDZ is not a giveaway console either, and it is still a slower loading system with expensive games. So getting a full Neo Geo CD implementation on Mr. Patched Up working with improvements in 2023 was incredible. It's so much fun to play these things, and there are some exclusive games as well as some games that have Redbook audio that improve things. And the recent release, Samurai Showdown RPG English Translation by the Price of Reason, works 100% incredibly on the core. Just make sure you run it at 2x speed, not 4x speed, or else it may throw an error or two. I totally get it. Way more people like Neo Geo AES and MVS and CD, but it does have a lot of fans out there, and the fact that we got it in 2023 was one of my other favorite moments, because I just love me some Neo Geo no matter what hardware it runs on, and I don't have to take my Neo Geo CD off the shelf, plug in my RGB SCART leads, and upscale it to get it into my TV. Speaking of plugging things in, we got Reflex Adapt from Mr. Add-ons this year, and while it's not exclusively a Mr. product, it is definitely focused towards that, letting you use all of your old controllers via adapters over USB versus having to use snack or snacks. It's been so much fun to test this and I recently did a video talking about the entire thing but I've been using it a metric crap ton since it came out and it lets me do something like plug my original Neo Geo AES controller in to play stuff like the Neo Geo CD core. If you haven't checked one out yet I'll leave a link in the description below but it was fun to get a new product on the control side as well. But of course we still have more arcade cores to go through and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles also from Konami joins the Simpsons party this year. It's definitely a debate amongst fans as to what game would be better and what they like more, The Simpsons or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so leave me a comment down below and settle the argument once and for all, at least for yourself. I would say if I had to get rid of one of the games, I would get rid of The Simpsons and keep Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but that is just me. And again, it was one of the most wanted and coveted games on Mr. FPGA, and it is here in 2023, and that was also spectacular. Again, it's not an uncommon or rare board, but it is quite an expensive board, again due to nostalgia, so getting this on Mr. is great. Definitely still a glitch here and there. It is still a beta, at least as far as I remember. It's been a minute since I've looked into it, but it's another one of those classic games from Konami. And what I really hope to see in 2024 more than anything is more Konami games on Mr. I want to see the 16-bit era stuff. Violent Storm, Bucky O'Hare, those are the things that I would love to see on the arcade side. But tell me down below, the number one thing you want to see on Mr. FPJ in 2024 is, I would definitely be curious to know what you guys are looking forward to, because a lot of times our interests overlap, but sometimes you want to see things that I never even think of. Like I'm sure there was definitely a computer core update here or there in 2023, it's just not where my interests lie, so it's not going to be in this video. There's definitely some things that happened that I did not cover, not because I don't care about them, just because it's not what I love so much. But what I do love is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I love that it is here on Mr. FPGA. But my favorite arcade core, and this is a personal favorite, not saying it's the best game to come in 2023, has got to be Splatterhouse from Hotego. I love this game, I've got so much nostalgia for it, and a PCB is bigger than a mortgage payment for most of you. Getting this, even in beta with glitches right now, was my favorite thing as far as the horror genre on Mr. is concerned. I grew up playing this game, I saw it in arcades, I've got all of the different console releases in my collection, and I'm so happy to see now that we have it on Mr. I know this wasn't the biggest hit, you either love this game or don't care about it whatsoever, but at least for me personally, this was a big moment. It came out right around Halloween because of course it did and I can't wait to see what else Hotego and his team have in queue for 2024 because he's been one of the most prolific core makers as far as the year is concerned and I'm sure he's going to continue that into the next year. Because for as many things as Hotego has released he's also teased and talked about a lot of others and I can't wait to see some of those potentially come to fruition in 2024 but again it's going to be a long 12 months so you don't know what we're going to get but just seeing Splatterhouse here on Mr. vs. Mame has been so much fun and I can't wait for this core to get completely finished up. I do own an FM Towns Marty copy, and while it is close to Arcade Perfect, I want Arcade Perfect without having to use MAME. Again, not a dig at MAME, I use it all the time, I just want it on Mister. Now another big core release that everyone was excited about, but honestly for me, I can take or leave, I know that sounds weird, is OutRun. I much prefer 3D OutRun with OutRun 2, it is a game that I play all the time, but the original OutRun, I am not that good at it, it's not a game that I always frequent, but people were absolutely excited about OutRun coming to 
Mister in 2023, and again, Hotego and his team delivered. It's one of the most iconic Sega games of all time as far as racing is concerned without being in 3D, so to have it here was a ton of fun. But it really makes me want to see System 32 games on Mister in 2024. I want to play Golden Axe The Revenge of Death Adder. I want to play more of these sprite scaling games that Sega released. There's so many different arcade boards out there that I know will run on Mister as far as the hardware and technology is concerned that we just don't have yet. So I'm sure there's going to be a metric ton of fun to be had next year. So tell me down below what arcade board you'd love to see come over. Now speaking of Hotego, because everyone always asks me, he did announce that he's going to start working on Capcom CPS3 at some point in the future for Mister, but we really haven't seen many updates on that front outside of him showing the board and doing a little bit of schematic work. But I am super looking forward to this hardware, and it was exciting just to hear it mentioned for Mister this year. Even if we really didn't see any forward progress, even if we didn't see any alpha cores to Patreon members, just knowing that Hotego and his team are going to start working on this or might already be halfway done and just haven't told us anything is a ton of fun. It might not be the biggest library in the world that's got three Street Fighters, two JoJo games, and Red Earth, but what it lacks in overall titles, it more than makes up for for having some of the best fighting games Capcom ever made on one system. Red Earth is decent, the two JoJo's are amazing, and obviously the three Street Fighters are some of the best Street Fighter games ever made that don't involve the word Alpha in the title. I just like Alpha better than Street Fighter 3, but tell me down below what you guys think. I do hope we see this in 2024, but just knowing that Hotego's working on it is exciting, and it does share some hardware in common with some other cores that already exist, so I'm sure that that will definitely be beneficial moving forward. But I can't wait to see something like this run on Mister, and just knowing it's coming was exciting. It was up to a vote this this versus the IGS PGM, and because the IGS PGM didn't win, I can't include it on the 2023 video, but hopefully they announce it next year and I can include it in a recap on 2024, because I have absolutely no plans whatsoever to stop making Mr. Videos. I hope I keep doing this for the next couple years until maybe one day we see a Mr. 2 come down the pipeline. But moving on to another piece of hardware, the Sega 32X core was updated multiple times, and while it is not complete and it still has a bug here and there, compatibility and performance got so much better in 2023. Because Mister's not just Nintendo 64 and Sega Saturn, there's so many different computers, handhelds, and arcade boards and otherwise that weren't massive hits, things like the 32X, that still deserve the love and preservation in something like FPGA provides. So while the 32X is definitely not going to be anybody's favorite console of all time. I don't think anyone's going to disagree with me in the comments. There is still a lot of fun to be had. There's definitely a few hidden gems as well. So having them working on Mr. FPJ is great. Metalhead here just seeing fully textured 3D running on what amounted to an add-on to the Sega Genesis was so awesome back in the day. I do own a 32X but it is a mess of wires and for the most part I'm assuming most people don't actually own one of these. So being able to play 32X games on Mr. and seeing all the core improvements in 2023 was a ton of fun and I can't wait to see if it gets buttoned up in 2024 we'll just have to wait and see but if you've never checked it out before definitely download the core pop some games and look at some best games of all time lists there's more fun to be had on the 32x than you would imagine and while i am just showing the stock version of doom here doom resurrection has gotten multiple updates to that modification as well this year if you're going to play doom definitely check that version out but when i do test these things i test retail games so i know if the performance is down to it being modded or if it's down to the core itself now moving back over to Hotego for a second, a name that you're going to continue to hear throughout this video. He was getting ready and primed up to release Neo Geo Pocket to the Mr. FPGA world, but it seems like he must have hit some snags or some bugs that has kept it from prime time because at least as I'm recording this video is not released. Maybe he's going to pull a rabbit out of his hat and release it right before this goes live, but either way I'm leaving this as is right now. I am definitely still looking forward to Neo Geo Pocket. It was fun to see all of his updates coming in 2023. I'm just a little bit bummed out that it got delayed, that's not a judgment whatsoever. I was just looking forward to playing the Beast Busters RPG on Mr. versus my handheld with a non-modded screen, which is very hard to see even in the best of light. But I can't wait to see this come out, and I do hope it's early on in 2024 so I can do some videos on it and talk about one of my favorite deep cut handhelds of all time. But even though we haven't seen it yet, knowing that Neo Geo Pocket and Neo Geo Pocket Color are coming one day was a lot of fun in 2023, because for the most part I'm assuming most people have never actually played this hardware. 
Let's stick with Otego move over to the arcade side. He did release the beta for Contra on arcade boards as well, and it seems like he's been on a real Konami tear, and I'm not complaining whatsoever. Konami is my favorite maker of arcade games, not named Sega. This is Contra, so you know it's hard, but getting stuff like this coming over as well was just a ton of fun, and I'm not even mentioning all of Otego's cores, just the ones that I think people maybe missed out on. Obviously, we have Aliens, New Zealand Story, so many other things that have come out from Otego. If I did a video just on his output I could probably make another 20 minute one but I kind of want to diversify this out as much as possible but if you haven't checked out Hotego's work definitely look at a list of his cores pick out some of your favorites and start playing them today he basically almost releases a new core every Friday or every other Friday on JT Fridays so there's been a metric crap ton of output from him and his team and it is a lot of fun and I can't wait to see what the next arcade core is now on the Toa Plan side, we did get a Vimana Core, and that is another awesome deep cut shmup. And that's been a lot of fun on Mister as well this year. There's been so many different cores from manufacturers that maybe you're not too familiar with. Obviously, I know who Toa Plan is, I do love a shmup, but for a lot of people when I would do videos on this stuff, they would say they've never heard of the game before, and they can't wait to check it out. And that makes me so happy to hear you guys comment. Every time I talk about a game or a Mister Core that you haven't seen before, I know you're going to go and you're going to play and you're going to hopefully have fun and that's been the great thing about the mr fpga project it really is an encyclopedia of straight up retro gaming glory everything that's on there you can experiment and pick your favorite things out you're not going to be playing super mario 64 on the nintendo 64 core all the time you can pop over to something like vimana from toa plant and have a ton of fun but there's more than one game on the toa plant core and i'm really looking forward to more of these deep cut arcade boards hopefully getting featured in the next year because there's absolutely thousands of arcade games that could run on Mr. FPGA, and you probably only know about the existence of 10% of them, but within that other 90%, there's some of the best games of all time that just didn't seem to get too popular, so I really am looking forward to seeing what other deep cut arcade cores are going to come out of people's pockets in 2024. We'll have to wait and see, but I'm excited and I hope you are too. But honestly, if I'm going to do one takeaway from this video, you know what it's going to be. The number one thing in 2023 has to be the speed at which Robert or FPGA Zoom Spots developed the Nintendo 64 core. I did the first video on the first retail game running Namco Museum on July 11, 2023, and now we have the entire North American library booting in some form or another, and dozens upon dozens upon dozens of games running exactly as they would on real hardware. You wouldn't think a team of developers and engineers would be able to pull this off in under six months, but one German guy managed to do it in less than that. One game by Christmas, you can definitely tell that Robert is not a trustworthy person. He lied to us all. We basically have every single game playable by Christmas. But 2023 was definitely the year of Nintendo 64, and I love Robert as a developer. He's been so vocal with the community, chatting with people, updating people on Twitter. You don't just get to see his work when you play it, you get to interact with him, and so many people have been so engrossed in the development process, so much more so than actually playing the game. I think the real takeaway is people really love to know how the sausage gets made. But that is my recap for Mr. in 2023, and again, I know there's things in this video that happened that I did not cover. It's not that I didn't love them, it's not that I didn't play them, I just try to keep this concise to the things I have loved the most. But if there's something in this that I didn't include, leave it down below and we can chat about it in the comments. But again, I want everyone to be very aware. Nothing that I omitted isn't because I didn't think it deserved coverage, these are just the things that I love this year, and that's what I wanted to talk about. But hey guys, enjoy your Christmas, enjoy New Year's Eve, and I'll see you in 2024 for a lot more Mr. videos. Bye bye